Well, hi, and welcome to Eric and her mom. So today I'm just going to give a quick introduction of what, what's going on because I've been really excited to get to my closet and this is my office. And so I want to get to my closet and um, I just have a lot in there and I want to clean it all out. And I'm going to condense my husband's closet in his office and this closet. Our problem is in this house, we do not have a coat closet. So I'm going to create a coat closet. I'm going to give him the benefit of not having coats in his closet and have them in mine. So here are the five things that I'm thinking of before I go into the space. These are the five things I'm going to be looking for when I get into this space. Number one, Ah, things you intend to use but can't. These are the things I'm getting rid of. Things that I intend to use but can't. I've had two lights that you mount on the wall, directional lights, and those were for having um, our statues or paintings or something to have spotlights on them. They would have to be mounted or sitting someplace and shining the light on the objects. I can't use them. We haven't used them. I'm going to give my husband a chance to see if he can do it. And if he can't, then they're out. So that's an example of things that I intend to use, but I can't. And that might be um, lampshades. I am terrible about getting rid of lampshades thinking I will use this lampshade on another lamp. All the lamps in my house have shades, so I don't need lampshades, so they're gonna go. And they take up a lot of room, even if you stack them. Don't cry, Bob. Pardon me. Bob's having a bad day. Come here, baby. Come here. All right. Bob is just, he's sad today. I don't know why. All right, and then the other thing is the things you pass over and use other things. So you have an item and then you go, oh, I'm gonna use something else. I'll save this for next time. No kisses. Um, so those are the things, the things that I pass over and I don't, oh, thank you, baby. Um, and I don't actually use. So those are gonna go. Number three, things you bought because it was a good deal. Yeah, okay, so too much of that going on. So I'm getting rid of the things. I got it as a good deal. I don't decorate with it or I don't use it and it just doesn't work out. So that's gonna go. Number four, things you carry around for years and always return to the closet. You take it out, you look at it, you think about it and you put it back. Those things are gonna go today. Um, and then number five, things you offer to family members and they say no, that they don't want it. So why am I keeping it if I'm not displaying it or using it and they don't want it? So those are the five things that, the, that I'm getting rid of to begin with. And then, then I can declutter and clean up the rest of the closet and condense these two closets. And um, that's my goal for today. So. Let's get busy. Since I have a little extra time, I'm still holding Bob and he's um, he feels very comfortable sitting with me today. So I'm not sure what's going on with him. But I wanted to talk to you about this, uh, another thing. I, so sometimes I sit and I contemplate and this thing that I was contemplating, contemplating is a 25% rule. That means um, when I declutter a space, a drawer, a cabinet, a closet, or anything else, I'm leaving an empty 25%. That means that um, it gives me a little pressure to get rid of more things that I don't need. And if I, if I want to go put something in my closet, uh, like a, a bedroom closet, and this is a transform bedroom into my office, I want to have space in there. I have shelves in there on either end of the closet that I actually can't use because they're full of stuff. The middle of the closet is full. The top of the closet is full um, of decorations for different holidays. So I'm going to be moving those to 
a shelf in the garage so that and pull go out there and pull them down once a year it'll be a lot more simple and give me the room i need so that's going to free up a lot of space so that if i want to do something more creative in that closet i have room to do it so that's my 25 percent rule let's see um oh the idea was that i would always have space um without overflowing into other spaces meaning um i have enough space in my own closet to put coats and things in and i can put jules coats in this closet and so it's all contained so when it is a cold day we live in florida we can go to one closet and i'm going to put our dress clothes in there i mean dressy dress clothes um we might have blazers or something in our regular room, but like um, beaded gowns and suits and things like that can be in here and free up the space in the bedroom. And it's all contained in one closet. Right now it's in four, but Jules and I will still each have our, our own closets. Um, so that way nothing is overstuffed um, because I'm, what I'm finding is less clutter, less stuff equals more peace. And there's nothing better in life than more peace. And I'm really, really working on that. Okay, so, um, and I wrote this down. Make habits that take away the stress of constantly deciding if you feel like cleaning. How about that? So you get up and you clean. Um, you don't wait to feel like it. You don't wait to, hmm, see how the weather's blowing that day. Um, do I feel like doing it? No, this is just, I keep looking outside because I see an azalea blooming, so yay. Um, it's a habit. When you create habits, you don't, you don't think about it. You know, like driving a standard shift car, if you ever have driven a standard shift car, you don't think about how to do that. You just do it. You can talk and listen to the radio, whatever, and you shift these gears. You get to your destination, but you didn't put any thought into it. How many times have we driven to work or somewhere and we don't even remember getting there? We don't remember doing it. Our, our mind was so full of something we weren't even thinking, but we were because it's habit. And you know how to drive, you know how to stop at lights and avoid cars. So those become habits and you don't, when you first start driving, that's super stressful. And, you know, but when you, when you are a seasoned driver, you don't think about those things anymore. You don't, you don't worry about, am I in my lane? Am I getting too close to the edge? What, you know, you, you get, you get what I mean. So we're gonna um, make these things habits. Um, and it's like my two trains going, my train habit of cleaning is still going. So today I've already vacuumed all the floors and um, took care of the dogs and took care of the dishes and you know, all those things are going um, and cleaned one bathroom and I have a couple more to go. But I just wanna say, you know, those are not things that I think about. Am I going to do that? No, I'm gonna do that and I'm not gonna think about it. Um, that fight and that war has get the, the voice of, um, I, I guess a voice of just saying, um, I don't, why am I the one doing this? Why Why can't any, anybody help me? Or, you know, I, I don't have a big family right now, so I don't have to think about that. Um, but, um, you know what, if, if I purposely leave something for somebody else to do, then that means I had enough of a battle in my mind that it's not a habit for me to do. So, you know, getting other people on board with you is important. You shouldn't do all the work in your house. If you have a big family, everybody chips in, but um, the battle of what you're going to do needs to be won and over and it become a habit so then you don't have to think about uh decluttering gives you less work give yourself habits and rules so if i have a rule that when i get up i'm going to 
I don't know, say, what am I going to do when I get up? I'm going to wipe my bathroom sink after I use it. Well, that's already a habit. I don't think about doing it and I don't forget to do it. So that, that just happens. And I don't actually have to clean my sink because it's already clean. Every day it's clean. So that that's one of those things. And I've made it a rule to dry the sink every time I use it. Maybe it's overkill in your mind, maybe not, but, oh, sorry, Bob, he's so tired. Um, anyway, so those are some things, um, cleaning the toilet, like, you know, every day, a couple times a day even. Um, that was just one of those things that became a habit, and so now it doesn't require thought. So you can get a lot of things done um, when you're just, just on autopilot. Oh, and I love that. It makes the declutter issue, um, more obvious because when you can't just go in, clean a room in less than two or three minutes, that means, you know, you have some clutter going on. You can't, yeah, can't get in there and, and just really clean. So keeping the clutter out keeps your workload down. So, um, you just, I made a pact with myself, self, this is what we're going to do. We want to keep things done. We're going to just learn the habits of keeping habits. And I think that's kind of the first step. We haven't had habits before, so we have to learn to walk in our habits and you have a prayer habit, you know, you have an eating habit, you have a sleeping habit and you have a cleaning habit even if you work this doesn't escape you everybody has to have a, a type of, or a method to clean their home whether it's having outside help come into it you still have to keep it clean enough that the outside help can can get to your your bathrooms your bedrooms your your carpets your floors your your kitchen you still have to keep those things going. So there's no avoiding it. So make it a habit, make it easy on yourself. Um, so let's see, da, da, da. Um, know what's in your house. That's a biggie. If you're a clutterer, you don't, uh, well, I'm not gonna say hoarder because a lot of us are not hoarding things, but things have added up over the years. Know what's in your house. So you don't have to buy extra things and things that you don't use. You know, you might have had a different season in life. And so you really wanted something, you really used it a lot, and that season's over and it's time to let it go. Childhood toys, childhood books, childhood sports equipment, all of those things, um, you need to let it go. Just for your own sanity, for your own peace, let it go. Um, so anyway, um, you have everything you need in your house. You don't have to go and buy things to make decluttering, you know, happen for you. You have probably have all the cleaners you need and more. You have all the equipment you need and more. So, you know, just get started. Don't wait for a day to come that, see, that the mood hits you. Just do a little bit, get started. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be um, a domestic goddess, as they say, to be happy, but you have to get started and just, you'll be surprised what you can accomplish. So anyway, um, I'm gonna hang on to Bob for a few, a few more minutes and till he feels a little better. Feels like walking, he's nervous. He's a nervous dog. Sometimes he doesn't like to walk on the floor. So I have to, you know, uh, anyway, he's special. But, um, so those are a few things that I have going on and a few things that I've implemented in my own life because like I said, I want a lovely space. I want every space that I see in my home to be lovely, to be inviting, and something I can be proud of. You know what? If it needs painted, paint it. If it needs fix, fix it. If it needs trash, trash it. Um, deal with everything in your house and then you will be in a lovely place 
hang on, and eventually we'll get to that decluttered closet. It's a big deal. I've been putting it off, so I'm with you, sister. Hold on. Well, this is a closet that I have been putting off. Actually, I put a lot of stuff in here to declutter a space, and there are things that I didn't want to deal with, so today I'm going to deal with it. So we've been in this, those are, those are some pillows that I keep out on the patio and it's kind of rainy today. So I'm going to hang on to those in the house. Um, so that looks like clutter, but it's not real clutter. It doesn't live there. All right. So this is the closet that keeps taking in all the things that I declutter from the rest of the house that I haven't made a decision on. So it's only been in here some of the things for about three or four weeks some things for two years so this is kind of the drop it all kind of place so this is this is going to be a time a two-year time capsule to get into and i am just i'm excited to get it done although i'm not looking forward to the amount of work it's going to take to do it but that's okay because I don't have to finish it all today. I can do one box at a time. I can do whatever, but in the top, I'm gonna to open this and show you what it looks like so we can discuss it. Okay, so here we have it. This is my most cluttered of all cluttered spots. So up in the top, I have from one side to the other. I have, those are all my decorations for seasonal decorations. So I have Hanukkah, I have fall and Thanksgiving. So I have quite a, quite a lot of things going on in here. So all of these things are going to go to the garage. So let me count. One, two, three, four, five. So we have six tubs that are gonna go to the lawn, not the laundry room, the what? The, not the washroom, same thing. Let me try again. Hmm. I have six things, six tubs that are going to go now directly to the garage on top of the shelves where people normally would put these things. I put them in here because this was handy. So. Um, so I'm going to clear out that top shelf right now. Whew, that was a workout getting all of that down. So this is what, um, we have. So we have, um, a thinner box and that's where I keep the, um, door, front door foliage for the fall and then Thanksgiving or fall, Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Whew. So, um, but look at this, look at this. How great is that? I have all of this space. That up on the top shelf, that is a little file holder, which I'm going to get down. And my goal is um, clean that out and get all the loose paperwork that we have around the house and put it in that file holder and have one thing. Um, so that's a goal that I'm not I'm definitely not gonna get into that today. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and make a space in the, I don't have to make a space, the space is already there, um, and put these in the garage. And so, so that I don't have a room full of stuff, everything will be taken care of as it comes out of the closet. So I have still here, these are empty storage things. Um, and I bought those thinking, you know, this was before my shopping ban. This is the rest of my room. Before my shopping ban, um, that was to organize things. So they became part of the clutter. Ah, I know some of you have the same issues. 
so I don't feel too bad. I just can't wait till I get on the other side of this and be able to say, hey, I know what you, I know what you went through. Watch that video. I was I was in that place with you. So anyway, that is where we are. And then um, these are some decorative pillows that I love that I'm gonna put out. If I'm not gonna put them out, I'm going to get rid of them. And these are just some jackets that I took from Joel's closet and they are going to live here, but I'm gonna take them out while I straighten the rest of the closet. So <sighs> here we go. All right, so all that is gone to the garage. I consider that a real win, step one, because I've been wanting to get that done for a while and I just haven't haven't done it because opening this door, these doors, it was too scary. I was gonna take everything out in this area and um, kind of, hmm, it's kind of like excavation. You gotta kind of go layer by layer, so, Anyway, like I always say, <laughs> let's get busy. I just wanted to, to throw this in. What keeps me going and motivated to do this is in my mind, I know. <laughs> there was a, a very famous rabbi by the name of Noah Weinberg. And he said, when you have to accomplish a task, that you're not that excited about. Think about how good it's going to feel when it's done. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine how good it's going to feel to get this finished and not have to think about it again. It's out of my thoughts, it's done. So that's going to that's going to cause, cause me peace and lovely thoughts. So it's gonna be lovely. And I just, I'm just grateful for the wisdom of others and how important it is for us to pull on the wisdom of others. Like other YouTubers who, other YouTubers who do decluttering, you wouldn't think someone else's mess would inspire you, but it seriously does. And people are so gracious to put their clutter on YouTube to inspire me because they've been inspired. Something happened within their cluttered lives to inspire them. And they're passing that spark of inspiration on to me. And I'm hoping that I'm passing it on to you. So let's get busy. Okay, so I've got my first group of things out of the closet. I have um, it feels like a big space to me because I just pull it out, but it isn't. Um, and I stopped before I got any farther because just emptying the closet just fills my room. So I don't want to do that. But this is my gift wrap that I use throughout the year. So I'm not going to put that in the garage. It's probably going to go back in this closet. And in the bottom, no, not, not there. Where is it? Oh, it's it's still in the closet. Um, I had this, and this is gift boxes and bags. So I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. Um, I think one container is enough. But um, anyway, so so I'll go through those and purge. And in in this totes container, I call it a totes. It isn't anymore. Um, but they're they're these are the lampshades that I told you about. Oops, lampshades, and um, these are bags that contain bags. So I'm going to check real quick and see if the people I know want these or can use them for anything, and then um, the rest I'll donate. So I'm getting there. A couple more, couple more, more, three more pillows. So um, since I've already got pillows out, I'm going to keep those together. And um, this is my computer bag, which I will hang on to that. Um, and there's nothing wrong with keeping something that I know I'll, I will use. So, Because if we go on trips or we go 
anywhere. I like to put the compute, take a computer and I just stick that in the bag and it has a safe place to live and I don't have to buy another one. So these will come out. All right, now I know I'm getting out way more than um, Karen White says I should. And I, I should listen to her. She says, take one thing and go put it away or make a decision with it. Um, <coughs> pardon me. But I'm going to give it a try and see what I can do with just that much stuff. So I'll get all of this stuff finished. And then because in my mind, you know, they're like items and I kind of know already what's going to happen with them. And I, I don't have to actually, I don't have to make any decisions about it. Oh, look at poor Bob. He's on the pillow. He's trying to get comfortable. Hey, not a happy camper today, but I, like I said, I already know, I've already made up my mind about the things in this closet before I even get into the closet. So I know what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna get rid of and what I'm giving to other people. So I'm just gonna do that. And then the um, spare storage boxes um, will actually have things in them that are leaving the house. So not only will they get um, re-gifted items, they'll also get a nice box to keep it in. So anyway, so let me get rid of this pile and we'll get back to the rest. And, and coffee, I like to have coffee around while I'm working. So hang on. All right, we just got finished with lunch. Um, I took the other decoration boxes out and put them in the garage. And then I um, pulled some, some more stuff out, which is this, and talked to my daughter and told her some things that I wanted to give her and didn't tell her what it was going to be, but I just told her I have some stuff for her. So she said, great, mom. I have some stuff for you. So it sounds like she's cleaning out some stuff too. So that's great. Um, you know, it's great that we're on the same page. And so we'll swap some stuff, but get rid of some stuff and we'll both feel okay about what we're getting, getting rid of. So we don't have to, you know, actually, <laughs> sometimes um, we're a crutch for each other. Bob's trying to walk across plastic now. Come here, baby. Go this way. Go this way. Um, we're a little bit of a crutch. That way, um, I can give her something that I'm not sure if I should um, just throw away on my own. And then she can donate it herself once it gets into her possession and I can do the same. But pretty much, we are giving each other things that we think they can need, not just to take the burden off our own shoulders of decluttering. So anyway, so this is going to be just a real simple thing. And let me get started. Oh, boy, had a great lunch. Steak and butter and water. And I have to tell you, it was delicious. Okay. I have to tell you, I cannot wait to get this room finished and behind to me. I have just, wow. <laughs> okay, I, I think every time I declutter, I get to this point where I just want to get it finished. I am not thinking about being tired, making a right or wrong decision. I'm thinking about getting it done. And I love that because I try to sometimes, not every time, look at it as work. I have a job to do today, and today the job is decluttering that closet, so I'm just gonna do what I've gotta do to get it done. Um, I'm not worried about making bad decisions I will regret, because honestly, I've not used anything in this closet besides the decorations and the gift wrap in a year. Maybe some of the jackets, but you know, that. That's not the issue that's causing the problem. It's everything else in this closet that's causing the problem. I do have pictures, a whole 
tote, that green tote is full of family photos and pictures. So I'll be hanging on to that. Don't have to make that decision. I'm not going through the box. I know what's in it and I'm okay with what's in it. So I'm gonna hang on to it. I might put it in the top of the closet over to the edge. But this is what, I got some supplies. I, I don't have big black trash bags, so I have kitchen size white trash bags. So that's what I'm gonna use because I'm not gonna use the excuse of, oh, I have to wait till I get some trash bags. So I'm not gonna, no procrastination here. And then I have a box. And in this box is going to be full of things that I am no longer going to allow to rob me of my peace and my joy. So let's get busy. Okay, so I thought it would be a good time to stop and just go over what's been going on. So I do have um, more pictures, <laughs> albums and frames than I thought. So these are both for pictures. Um, this is some paintings and artwork that family members have done. So I will be keeping that and hopefully get that displayed. And, um, whoops, there's the falling out here. My son, my son, oh, <laughs> that was scary. Um, my son is an artist and he has, I have some artwork of his from when he was a child and that's what it is. And it's very, very good. And, and I want to hang on to it. And this right here, this painting, um, he did and that's, I think that's a chalk that he did. And that picture is the, um, a canal here in Florida. And that's, a um, I some kind of a bird box that's in the canal. But if you know what that is, let me know. Anyway, so, well, we have, um, this much done, which I'm really excited about. I mean, look at all that. Of course, my um, pictures are gonna go back in here and they're going to probably go at the end down here like this. Now, I um, have more pictures and so I just need to kind of get organized and figure out what I'd like to display and maybe make a wall of just pictures. I think that would be a nice way to honor the people that were in the pictures. And I'd also like to um, get fewer boxes of pictures. And I don't know what's in these. I have no idea. So if I needed it, I wouldn't know where to find it. And if someone really wanted it and could appreciate it, they couldn't because it's in the bottom of my closet in a box. So I'm gonna continue and get Get more done. I'm running out of steam, honestly. I'm getting tired. Um, but what I'm gonna do is not focus on getting tired. I'm going to focus on um, getting finished. And a lot of things that I have pulled out, it looks awful right here. Um, but actually that pile are pictures and things that, and I'm just not gonna, I'm not ready to get rid of my pictures yet and I don't have the ability to scan them into a program and keep them that way. Although I would love to do that, to be able to share that with other family members. And I think, I think we could all benefit from doing that and sharing it and putting it on a hard drive or thumb drive or something. And this box is gonna go, this is my to-go box. So things are gonna go in there to get taken out and you know these are just those big bags you get whenever you get a you send a gift from amazon and you don't want to wrap it yourself that's what that is so i'm going to offer those to my daughter because she has big bulky items because she has a four-year-old that she likes to um, give gifts to <laughs> I, I like to give gifts to him too this but anyway i'm going to offer those to her if she doesn't want them then um they're going in the trash. 
So even though it looks like a mess, it's not a mess and I'm not overwhelmed by what's out here. I'm more overwhelmed by what's over there. So one side, well, okay, we'll say one fourth. We've got one fourth of the closet done and don't forget the, the top shelf. So that was a big win. It just happened quickly and it was easy to do. So, and that's how decluttering, after you've decluttered, that's how quick it is and easy it is to go back and declutter. I've done this closet before. This is not my first time, but it is my first time since I gathered up all the clutter everywhere else and shoved it in here. So let's get busy. This is one of those problem boxes. We all have one of these or lots of these. Old silver from um, family members who have passed away. Um, just, yeah. Number three. This is the third one. So, okay, I'm just going to put this right out on the kitchen counter and go through it with my daughter and see what she wants. And then I'll ask my son, see what he wants. Nobody wants. It's gone. Who polishes silver anymore, really? Ugh. Anyway, yeah, we all have, we all have those things that kind of makes our heart like a little little sad that we have to let let it go but i'm not honoring anybody by keeping this in my closet i'm not honoring anyone by spending hours polishing it and putting it in a drawer i honor them because i love them and i see them in my children and i see them in the people around them and i know the um, contributions that they've made in this world don't boil down to a few pieces of silver in a box in a closet that I've been dragging around. So let me go today. I'm with you. I, I have to do it too. Alright, I have one side of the closet completely finished and what I did on this side, let me see if I can show you, but down here I have the pictures and on, sorry, on that shelf I also have pictures that are framed. Um, so I'm going to just push this back, my gloves, my coats right now. And then I'm going to look at this side. Um, yeah, and you know, the, the crazy part is, I don't know what's in any of these boxes either. I found what I wanted in the boxes on that side, and then all of this can go. So I think um, I'm pretty excited about that, win-win. And then, um, yeah, yep, yeah, that's a a carved stick. You know you have a boy when you have mementos that are carved sticks. So I have some more paintings um, or pictures back here and what I do is I hang all my extra pictures 
that I don't want in the house, I hang them in the garage. So I have a gallery in my garage. So that's kind of funny. Um, this was my daughter, Erica. This was her dress when she was a baby. So, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta hang on to that cause yeah, cause I do. So anyway, I like seeing it. It makes me happy every time I see it. Um, I think it'd be fun to maybe put in a shadow box and hang up sometime, but, and it's probably not going to happen. I don't do things like that, but I do like seeing it on the rack. So yeah, I'll just leave it there. I enjoy it. So then we are, yeah, that's one of her little shirts too. That I can get it. I can give that away now. If you can tell it's Winnie the Pooh and he's flying a little kite. Vintage, but I don't care if it's vintage. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get through these boxes and actually this is something that came in Love Hololam. This is Noah's Ark and um, I am keeping some boxes, not boxes, some books that were my granddaughter's whenever she was going um, to Hebrew school. And I have them so that I can help him with his Hebrew. There's my husband. Did Hello. you did you find it? Yeah, and the sliding tray came and I have to say goodbye because I'm going to get my allergy shot. Oh, already? Yeah. Okay, everybody, I have to put you on hold. I gotta give him a bye-bye kiss. Well, we have made so much progress in this closet. I mean, you could literally, okay, figuratively park a Buick in this closet. I'm so excited. So, um, one, two, three, four boxes to go. And I am so excited to get this finished. Um, it's, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been <laughs> without its problems or dilemmas, but here is my room. And so far, um, let's go, let's go through this. So down here, I have a few pictures. Those are going to be hung in the garage. Beside it are the tote bags, a bag of tote bags, which will be given away. And, um, Vac where we go, vacuum cleaner stays. This is my file box that's going to contain everything I need to file in this whole house, Lord willing. Um, this is my little box for Noah because I will be teaching my grandson about Noah and having fun with that. Um, on, the, on the dresser there, um, here we have um, some rocks from Israel. There we have some, da, 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 da. let's see, can you see that? Um, white knobs that came from my old kitchen, white porcelain knobs. I'm going to see if anyone wants those. If they don't, then they are going to be donated. A little stack of pictures in their frames, which is going to go on that dresser as soon as I get all the other junk off. And then going back, there are a few books right in ooh, right in this area um to start teaching my grandson hebrew yeah, so anyway that's what we've got going on it might look scary but i'm still under control i'm not feeling anxious i <laughs> have been a little tired but that kind of comes and goes when i stop doing a box i get tired because i'm thinking about it while i'm doing the box I feel pretty good about it. So anyway, and now my desk is stacked up, but those are hooks. Those are gonna go um, in my closet and the books under it, um, I am going to put on the bookshelf. And yeah, you will not believe how many books and things I've gotten rid of already. Um, so if we just, run around the corner here of my room. All of these are 
donate boxes except for my gift wrap over there standing tall in the corner. So those are all donate things. Um, and I decided be, to preserve my energy in my back. I'm not going to be the one to take those to the car. So anyway, that's, that's what's going on. Anyway, so, all right. Well, I had a good time chatting with you. I'm just kind of dragging it out because I'm about to have to get back to work. I'm going in again. All right. Hang on. We're going to get to the end of this today. It's going to be great. I promise. All right. So I probably am looking a little haggard right now. And so I was just about to get started on those last four boxes. But you know what? Just thinking about what's going on in my body. My body says I need a drink. So I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to get something to drink and rehydrate and um, come back super fresh and, and refreshed and get this finished. So anytime you start feeling tired or overwhelmed or something, change your scenery. I'm going to go in the kitchen and I've got boxes in there too, but they're on their way out. They're, that's going towards the garage. So that's progress. So anyway, the end of the day, I'm gonna have my closet back. I'm so excited. Well, I have gotten so much done today. This closet is finished. And um, look what I found, my wedding dress. You wouldn't think you could lose a box that's this size in your house, in a closet. But I, you know, like I said, these things were put here two years ago. And so I don't remember what's in them. I knew I had a wedding dress, but I just didn't, I'm looking for scissors. I just didn't remember where I put it. So today I found it. And what I'm gonna do is take it out of this box and put it in a clear box. So I could see it. I actually should probably send it to a dry cleaner and have it put in a special bag and you know, all those things. But I'm going to see what I can do. Anyway, oh my goodness, I don't remember. See what happens. I don't remember how I put it in the box. Ah, oh, there it is. Now I can see what it looks like. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anyway, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin it, just in case someone can use it. But, ah, oh, there it goes. This is it. And um, I had it on this form. When I lived in my other house, I had a dressing room. So I actually had this displayed. This is a hanger with a little bust in it. And I had it displayed on the wall. And when I moved into this house, I didn't have a dressing room and I didn't want to, I didn't want to recreate a dressing room because before my dressing room was just right across the hall and I could go in and there I had all my shoes and all my purses and all my jewelry and all my clothes. And it was, I won't lie, it was fantastic. I loved it and the full length mirror and everything. But when I moved here, um, I don't want to go all the way to the other end of the house, which is where my office is to make this um, a dressing room. So it just didn't work out. So anyway, this and the train, <laughs> there's a lot of train to this. Anyway, I might have to take it off this, this to get it, to get it in the basket or the new little clear box that I want to put it in. And it might be pretty smushed. But if anyone ever wears it again, um, it will have to be, it will have to go to the cleaners and, and get, you know, refreshed. But anyway, so I'm gonna take this out. There's, you know, it's so, so much fun when you get your, pick your wedding dress. And it's so much, so, I mean, just so much fun. Um, one of my granddaughters, friends will be getting married soon. Um, actually, she's getting married on St. Patrick's Day, and um, she's a sweetheart. So I just 
send her many, many blessings to a wonderful, long, and healthy life and happy marriage. Anyway, so I've got to tame this somehow. <laughs> I honest, honestly, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to get there. So I've got the, the top is easy, and I don't want to fold the beads too much on themselves to pick up the dress, you know, light fabric, but yeah, when I picked the dress, I really wasn't thinking about storage at all. So anyway, if I think about it, I'll put a picture. I'll put a picture on this video. Um, you just never know what you're going to run into when you declutter. And such, oh, holy, so let me show you what I've got going on. It's sort of, it's like getting the, uh, the Cool Whip back in the can or whatever kind goes in the can. So I'm gonna leave, leave the, the top part out. And I'm just gonna really smush this like crazy to get it in. And I know this is not the way to do it, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. Because I'm here and I wanna get my job done. And I do not wanna take this to one of those places that take care of your thing, even though I should, I know. Hey, but I'm almost there. I'm really, you know, I need a vacuum and you guys are going, she needs a vacuum bag. I really, really, really do. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I have one of those bags that you put like a quilt in and then you put it under now, if I had the lid, I could let go, or I could put the top on it, but now I have to let go and go get the lid. Oh my goodness, I can't believe what I just found. Oh, look what I just found. Oh, uh, this is a little alabaster statue, one of my very favorites which I forgot I had, so you forget. Oh, my hair. Anyway, this reminds me of this, you know, we always thought of this little guy as our son, Thomas, so it's so good to see him again. It can make me cry. All right, let me get the lid on this, and which are right behind you. All right. Uh, I knew it was going to pop up. Anyway, so these are a few of the things we are encountering as we declutter. I have found today two DVD players, two VHS tape players, and some VHS tapes, which is going to be kind of fun to hook up and see if that works. Um, so I figure if I use it, I can keep it. And, you know what, um, hey, I think this is going to work out. If I use it, I can keep it. If I don't, I will give it away or donate it. And I'm not the only one who, ah, we got half, half what, I can't believe it's going to fit, guys. That's amazing. Anyway, so, and I found lots and lots of pictures today. And I saw lots of pictures. Um, I saw one of my first trip to Israel many, many, many trips ago. I'm doing this just, you know, so you guys see. It's not, it's not any easier for me than it is for you. Ta-da! Now this can go right back in here on the shelf, and I'm done. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along with one of my biggest closet declutters yet. And I have things that I have to put away from the closet and things that go to different people and things that are gonna go to the trash and things that are gonna go to Goodwill. So, I am so happy this is behind me and not, not up here, it's out here. So thanks, bless you.
Thanks for watching Erica and her mom. Bye-bye.